Well, here in Salt Lake City, they cannot wait for the return of Game of Thrones. And as we head into the weekend, Utah does it with a 5-4 victory over USC to set up a rubber match on Sunday. Kevin Stocker, J.B. Long at Smith's Ballpark in Salt Lake City. Let's start in the first inning. The Utes, after just one hit last night, get an early run and lead. Well, you knew they were going to be aggressive, and I think this Shea Kramer knocking them in, and, and they had to be just because of that. And, of course, one of the stars of the game, Eric Miguelas, who we spoke to after the game with a big double. But really, for both of us, the highlights for him, along with his bat, was some of his defensive play. Uh, let's go to the fifth inning as the team's kind of punched, counterpunched, and seemingly USC was ready to have the answer every time Utah recaptured the lead. They did, and they did a little at a time. Yesterday, pounding out 16 hits. Today, there was kind of a constant back and forth for them, but both teams executed fundamentally well as far as bunts and small ball. Leadoff hitter getting on here in the sixth inning, followed by a sack bunt to move him around. You put a pinch runner in, that's night. He advanced to third. Another little safety squeeze by Oliver Dunn just to get him in here. The small ball really made a difference. And of course, one of their leaders, Zach Moeller, with a base hit up the middle. Utah was kind of one run at a time. That's how they attacked today. And they prevail five to four. 11 hits apiece, error-free baseball. Really competitive Pac-12 outing here on a Friday. We look forward to the rubber match and the finale on Saturday morning. Hope you'll join us then.